Have you ever wondered what happens to the recycling you put into your blue bin? Every year the Council's refuse collection crews empty a total of 4 million blue bins. We collect around 40,000 tonnes of recyclables in blue bins every year. The blue bin should be used for recycling paper, cardboard, cans, glass, plastic bottles, pots, tubs, trays and cartons. Watch to see what happens next with the blue bin material collected from East Riding residents. Biffa is the UK's leading nationwide integrated waste management business. Recycling is placed at the heart of the business with a number of major sites across the UK dedicated to recovering value from waste. Within the Resource Recovery and Treatment Division, four facilities provide mechanised solutions for the recovery of materials which once would have been sent to landfill. The Edmonton facility in North London is one of the UK's largest material recovery facilities, or MRFs as they are commonly known. The facility has been designed for the high quality processing of both domestic and commercial dry recyclables such as paper, cardboard, plastic, metal and glass containers. On average, 250,000 tonnes of recyclables pass through the Edmonton plant every year our other facility at Aldridge in the West Midlands utilises the latest technology and processing equipment to accept household recyclables and process them to high quality standards. On average 160,000 tonnes of recyclables pass through the Aldridge plant every year. So what happens to the recyclable materials that are sent here? Every day collection trucks arrive at site to deliver mixed recyclables. A quality control checker inspects the overall quality of the incoming material and any deliveries which are contaminated with non-specification materials will be rejected from site. With the materials quality checked, the recyclables can then be transferred onto a conveyor to start the recycling process and are then transported to the first pre-sort cabin. This is where quality assurance pickers remove any contaminants such as nappies, textiles, food and garden waste. The next stage in the process is an OCC screen which is designed to remove cardboard. Cardboard rolls over the screen and drops down into a storage bay. Glass passes through the OCC screen and onto a glass breaker underneath to convert it into smaller fragments. The rest of the recyclable materials continue along the production line. Any contaminants present in the OCC screen can cause issues in the process or halt the production line altogether. The fragmented glass is transported onto a rotating trommel which separates glass from the mixed stream of materials. The smaller fragments of glass pass through a single zigzag machine which uses an airstream to remove contaminants and debris. The larger glass passes through two zigzag machines. The first removes any fibre which is pulled off and transferred back into the fibre cabin. The second is set to a higher velocity to remove as much of the remaining contaminant. Both fractions of the glass, large and small, are then removed and sent for further processing. Biffa has invested £3 million in new glass cleanup systems at the Edmonton and Aldridge plants to ensure that it recovers glass to a world-class standard. The rest of the mixed recyclables pass over a new screen which separates larger paper such as newspaper. Further contaminants are targeted by QA pickers prior to baling and onward sale to market. A magnet then picks off the steel cans and sends them to a bunker. The remaining mixed recyclables, which are predominantly plastic containers, pass through five different optical sorters, which separate the mixed recyclables into different plastic grades. The optical sorters use infrared sensors to detect specific polymers like HDPE and PET within a mixed stream of materials, and precision air ejectors accurately sort the various grades of plastic before passing through one final QA picking station. At the end of the production line, an eddy, or reverse current, separates aluminium from the remaining mixed recyclables. A magnetic field, similar to the effect of pushing two magnets together, is created and propels the aluminium cans into a storage bunker. The aluminium cans are collected, compressed and baled, ready to be transported to the aluminium polishing plant in Derby. The bales received at the polishing plant from the MRFs are broken down for the aluminium to be reprocessed using eddy currents. The reprocessed cans are then baled again ready to be transferred to a facility which will smelt the aluminium for new aluminium products. The HDPE and PP mixed plastics are baled and then delivered to the Biffa Polymers plant in Redcar, which specialises in the recycling of difficult and challenging plastics. This is the world's first commercially available HDPE food grade recycling plant. Plastic from Biffa Polymers can currently be found in around 80% of the UK's milk bottles. HDPE rich bales arrive at the polymers plant ready to be processed. Manual pickers and optical sorters sort the deconstructed bales before the bottles are shredded into flakes. These flakes are blended, washed and optically sorted one last time to remove any coloured polymers, maximising the value and overall quality of the final product. 
The naturally coloured flakes are melted and cut into pellets, ready to be transferred to another plant that will convert those pellets into new milk bottles, thus completing the recycling process. Biffa's material recovery facilities operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. These sites take material which would have gone to landfill and recycle it time and time again to help minimise the impact of consumers and reduce damage to the environment. Biffa are doing what they can today for a better tomorrow. So now you know where your recycling goes. If you want to find out more about how to manage your household waste and help us build a greener future, you can visit our website at www.eastriding.gov.uk or follow us on Facebook or Twitter.